Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will control exhaust fan. So, let's look at the example first. Exhaust fan control. When the stove is turned on, the exhaust fan will be turned on and it remains on for one minute after stove is turned off. So, we will use some normally open contacts and we will also use timers. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram to control exhaust fan. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. We can also set passwords for read protection as write protection. And then I will click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select a logic controller. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. Then I can also go to serial line. Before that, here is a device description we have selected that is DM221C24R. It has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line where I can set protocol settings and serial line settings. I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram to control exhaust fan. So I will can also click on this option for a full screen mode and then I will zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as start. or start button yes and then i will insert a coil here and i will assign address to the coil as q 0.0 i will also add symbol to it as stove yes and then i will add a new rank here and then I will insert a normally close contact. Or I can also use a normally open contact here. So we will use a normally close contact now. So I will assign address to it as same as to that is Q 0.0 .0, and then I will insert a coil here. And I will assign address to it as Q 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as exhaust fan yes that is when start button is turned on stove will be turned on and then when stove is turned off then exhaust fan will be turned on so the ladder diagram we have drawn here it will happen that in the beginning, exhaust fan will be turned on. So for this, we will add a new rank here. And then I will insert a normally open contact. 
and then a coil and I will assign address to it as I 0, 0.0 which is a start button and then I will assign address to it as M 0 which is a memory bit then I will add it here so I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as M 0 then I can click on this and then draw a line like this so I will insert a normally open contact in rung 1 and that will be M0. So when start button is turned on, stove will be turned on and also M0 will be true. And then when start button is turned off, stove will be turned off but M0 will be turned on. When stove will be turned off, off the current will flow through it and m0 is turned on when start button is turned on the current will also flow through it and exhaust fan will be on and it will remain on so when start button is turned on stove will be on and with that exhaust fan should be on so here it should be normally open contact and then when start button is turned on stove will be on and when stove will be on, exhaust fan will be on. And then exhaust fan will be on. When stove is turned off, exhaust fan should remain on for one minute. So we will use a timer here. And that should be T off. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 60 yes so when start button is turned on stove will be on and when stove will be on and also with start button m0 will be on and when stove will be on and m0 will be on exhaust fan will be on and then when stove will be turned off then exhaust fan will remain on for 60 seconds so i will exit full screen mode I will compile the program then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator then I will start controller to do so click OK so I will go to programming and click on full screen mode so when start button is turned on stove will be on and also with stove on exhaust fan will be on and then when start button is turned off stove will be off but exhaust fan will remain on for 60 seconds So actually we do not the, uh, need this uh, rung 2 that is we do not need M0 here. So we can also delete this rung and we can also delete this M0 and it will work like this. So when start button is turned on stow and exhaust fan will be on and then when start button is turned off stow will be off but exhaust fan will remain on for 60 seconds. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.